Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm great. Nice. Great. Awesome to hear that. That's great. Thank All right. You. Thank you very much. Just two people in class. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We're gonna work in pairs. We are almost. <laughs> we 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 work in alone <laughs> in pairs <laughs> only. No. Hi, yes, you. Hi, one, one. Hi, teacher. How are you? I very busy. I try to. Uh, do the something. Oh yeah. <laughs> Prepare the, the, for the class. The my son tomorrow. Jesus Christ! Completing assignments. <laughs> I, I try to. Do. And no. he's studying online, or he's going to school in person. Uh, he going to school. Oh, nice. Uh, yes. In what grade? First, second, third, fourth. Uh, first. First, First grade. grade. Oh my yeah. God. Have <laughs> uh, seven years. Ah, he is seven. He's still little. Yes. Yes. Yeah, you are a busy mom. <laughs> uh, in this moment, yes, because uh, the homework, the uh, uh, to order the books, the backpack. <laughs> the backpack. Yes. Yes, I believe. Well, Miss Rosa Lu Sanchez. Good evening. She's shy. <laughs> Adriana. Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you? We also have Miss Adriana, Elizabeth, and Claudia. So we're not in pairs anymore. <laughs> we have, yes, now we have for two groups of three. It's okay. All right, maybe only ladies tonight <laughs> in class. <laughs> okay, good evening, everybody. I hope you're fine. I hope you're okay. I hope you had a wonderful day. And definitely, we have to do our class. Well, hopefully, it's going to be um, a review from yesterday's class, so it's not going to be something new. We're going to continue studying something we already started, so we already have an idea of what we're doing, what we're saying, what we're working on, right? And for this class, yes, definitely, we're going to describe our missions, prohibitions, and obligations. This is something we started studying last night. So we already have an idea, right? Do you remember right. what expressions to use for permission? For permission, mm -hmm. may, cool. Well, oh, those are for, possi for possibilities, right? For permission, can, may, yes, it's usually used as okay. well. Mm -hmm. And you are allowed. You are, uh-huh, I mm -hmm. am. And for prohibition, the opposite, right? We use can't in negative, and you're not okay. allowed. And for yeah, obligation? For obligation, well, you have, have to, to exactly have to. and have got to have got to exactly have got to yes that's what we started yesterday and of course we have some examples here <laughs> we're gonna try to interpret these signs right the first one says no cell phones no se permite telefonos <laughs> no cell phones <laughs> uh-huh it's a prohibition is you you can't all right we're gonna can't use that one to use your phone okay you can use your cell phone here 
oh, you're not allowed to use your cell phone here, right? Uh -huh. So we can say that. Hold on, give me one second. Because my computer is a little bit crazy. You can use your cell phone or you are, oh, you aren't, right? You aren't allowed to use. Mm -hmm. You can use or you aren't allowed to use your cell phone here. I think I can make this a little bit bigger. Uh-huh. And put it right here. Yes. All right. For the second one. Kids Children. enter here. <laughs> Children can enter here, right? Here or children are allowed to enter. <laughs> exactly. Children can <laughs> enter here probably or children are allowed. Sorry. Allowed here or allowed to enter. Mm -hmm. That's a possibility. Yes. Okay. So this is permission, right? So this is a permission. Children are allowed. Children can enter here. So next one. Face mask required. Not anymore in El Salvador. <laughs> uh -huh. You have to. You uh, have to. This is an obligation. You have right? to. To use. You have a to face use mask. a face mask or you have to use or wear, right? Let's say wear. You have to wear or you have got to wear a face mask, right? To enter here. Where it's because we usually put on our face, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Wet paint, keep off. Pintura húmeda, manténgase. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you aren't allowed to be on the bench <laughs> exactly you aren't allowed to sit on the bench right now or to be on the bench and right to now. sit right or you can't right next nothing to pay today free <laughs> that's nice nothing to pay ah you can uh, it's a permission you can and free you can take something free <laughs> all right let's put it nadie in paga. Nadie paga hoy. in negative all right let's put it in negative if it sounds fine you don't have you don't have to pay. Yeah, you don't have to pay anything now. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It's not necessary. It's not an obligation, right? Can be. You don't have to. All right. Questions? Are there any questions? No, not yet. No? Great. I no anybody else if somebody else has a question please let us know this is something we studied yesterday remember it's just to refresh to review okay let's go on oh no wait a second i need to erase my board first <laughs> And then got here. 
Uh -huh. Let's see. The photos. Uh, you can't take photos. You can take photos here, right? Or you, you aren't, aren't allowed, allowed. You aren't allowed to take photos, right? To take photos. For example, we say this in museums, right? You can't take photos. You aren't allowed to take photos. Especially when there's flash, they say the the pieces of art can get destroyed or deteriorated, right? Mm -hmm. Next. <laughs> you have to over uh, Jenny. Aiden, uh -huh. to see this film. You have to be okay, over. Hey, good evening. Uh, you have to be I'm over. Sorry, I me equivoqué de, de sesión. You went to another class. <laughs> no podía entrar. Estaba really? entrando a otra clase. You went to another class. <laughs> it's okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, no problem. You have to be over 18 to see this film. Yes. For some places, you have to be over 18 to enter, right? Bars or this type of events. Some movies as well, right? Mm -hmm. Next one. You can't play. You aren't allowed. Exactly, you can't play. Uh -huh. Or you aren't allowed to play. To play football here. Okay. The next one. Let me see. Yes. Keep, keep your feet off the seat. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. You don't have. You can't. <laughs> keep... Or put, right? Ah, uh, you can't uh -huh. put your feet on. Oh. Offset, you say, offset. So we don't need this. You can put your feet on the seats, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes. You Let's can. leave it that way. You can put your feet on the seat. You're not allowed <laughs> to put your feet on the on the seats. That's right. Number ten. Number ten. Yes, times mm -hmm. two Tuesday and Wednesday in morning. Uh, optional. <laughs> it's optional on Mondays. So when it's not an obligation, you can say you don't have A permission. To. Ah, you can say it's not an obligation. It's optional, so you don't have to. To... You don't have to be, or you don't have to attend. Let me see what else do we have. Class. Uh -huh. You don't have to be to class on Mondays. You don't have to attend to class on Monday. It's optional, right? So this is when it's not an obligation. <laughs> that is optional, okay? If you want, you attend, but if you don't want, you don't have to. And the number 11, one way. Um, um, you have to go. Yes, you have to go 
in oh. one direction only, right? In one direction. Yes, like the directioners. You have to. <laughs> if you go on the other on the other direction, you are on the opposite, right? So mm -hmm. you can get in trouble. All right. Any question? Any doubts? No. Good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening. Hi. I'm sorry because I'm late. <laughs> How's it going? Everything fine? Fine. All right. Fine. Yes. Perfect. Busy day. <laughs> I believe it's Thursday already. <laughs> and we have no energy yes. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the battery is getting low. Yes. I know. Okay, this is just a review from the class we had yesterday. So it's okay. We're just repeating. Okay. Permission, prohibition, and obligation. Okay? Okay. Now we have a conversation about driving. Okay, the ones that drive will relate easily, right? It says, you know, this these highways are really great, but the road signs are pretty confusing. Hmm. What do these lines on the road mean? They must mean you aren't allowed to pass here. No, I don't think so. I'm going to pass this car in front of us. It's going too slow now. I wonder what the sign up ahead means. It means, or it may mean, actually, you've got to take a left in this line. Or maybe it means that you can turn left if you want to. I think I'll just go straight. Okay? So definitely, this is just for practice. And you're going to see the use of possibility and the use of obligation here, okay? Because of the interpretation of the traffic signs. All right, once again, you know, these highways are really great. But the road signs are pretty confusing. Pretty confusing means really confusing. Very confusing, right? Hmm. What do these lines on the road mean? So when you have that double line or this other line, but one is cut, right? They must mean you aren't allowed to pass here. No, I don't think so. I'm going to pass this guy in front of us. It's going too slow now. Oh, now I wonder what the sign up ahead means. It may mean you've got to take a left in this lane. Or maybe it means that you can turn left if you want to. I think I'll just go straight, okay? So we're just gonna practice this conversation and you're going to identify the good use evening. of, hi, good evening, the use of possibility and the use of obligation, okay? I think those are the, the, the structures that we need to identify in this conversation. So. Practice the conversation as many times and then try to identify, try to interpret the use of possibilities and the use of obligation modal auxiliaries in the conversation. All right? All right. So here we go. Mm, I think I'm going to make four groups today. Uh, we start the conversation. Okay. I am John. Do you want to start? Okay. 
Okay, all right, and I'm Vicky. Okay, uh, you know, these highways are really great, but the road signs are pretty confusing. Mm, what do these lines on the road mean? Are allowed here. Excuse me? Uh, the must mean you aren't allowed to pass here. No, I don't think so. I'm going to pass this. Synap I hear means. It may mean you have got to take a left of this lane. Or maybe it means you can turn left if you want to. I think I'll just go straight. Okay. And you, Vicky. It may mean you got to take a left in this line. Or maybe it means that you can turn left if you want to. I think I just go strange. Okay. Okay. Elizabeth, if you want, you can start. Uh, uh... Vicky. Okay. Okay. Um, you know the. Yo, Vicky. You, uh, Carlos. Uh, okay. You know this highway are really great, but the roads seem are pretty confused. Mm. What did this line of the road mean? They must mean you are not allowed to pass here. No, I don't think so. I am going to pass uh, this car in front of us. It's going to slow. Now I wonder what that thing up here mean. It may mean you go to take a left in this lane. Or maybe it means you can turn left if you want to, I think I'll just go straight. Okay. 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 <clears throat> well, in, in the we're finished, and now the teacher said uh, we have to identify the. Obligation. Obligation. So, permission or well, obligation or. Um, or. Um, or uh, uh, identify one, the trip. Uh, they must mean you aren't allowed. To pass here is one. Yes, yes. one is for prohibition. It's a prohibition. Mm -hmm. As a prohibition. In the other, in the in the number five, is it may it may mean you. You've got to. Mm -hmm. Is other. There's a. Got to take a left in the. This line is the yes. number two. It's number. I guess number two. It's an obligation. Uh -huh, yeah, it's an obligation. Um, mm -hmm. In the end. Uh, you can turn left if you want to. To if you want to. Oh ah, yeah. Is permission. Mm -hmm. In another, I'm going to pass. The, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm wrong. I'm sorry. 
Uh, only just... only three in the in the uh -huh. in the paragraph. Yeah, just three. Uh, yeah, just three. I think it's only three. Um. Okay. I'm going to start again. Um. No, I. Uh, uh, we have to recognize to the the sentence um, for permission. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Uh, in the part of, I look the sentences with use prohibition. Mm -hmm. I don't know this, this case. Um, they must mean you aren't al allowed. To you pass aren't here. allowed to cross here. Yes, it's, or to pass. it's a prohibition, yes. Uh, but at the beginning of the sentence, it also has a possibility because it's a, it might mean. It might mean. So it's, it possibly means, right? Ah, uh, must mean ah. Uh, mm -hmm. So you have a combination. <laughs> yeah. Possibility and prohibition. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. You finished, right? Yes, I practiced there. All right, perfect. Yes. Done. Done, teacher. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Hello. Hello. Aha, uh -huh. you know these highways are really great, but the road signs are pretty confusing. Mm. What do these lines on the road mean? They must mean you aren't allowed to pass here. What do we have here? I, I, we there have a provision. provision. There is a provision, right? You aren't allowed. And they must mean, what do you think it's in? This part. Uh, Obligation. It's a possi possibility. Ah, see. It's a strong possibility. They must mean. So it's a they strong possibility, mean. right? They must mean that you aren't allowed to pass here. Oh, uh, no, I don't think so. I'm going to pass this car in front <laughs> of us. It's going too slow. Now, I wonder what that sign up ahead means. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a possibility. It's a possibility. Okay, it may mean an obligation. <clears throat> uh -huh. You've got to take a left. You've got to take a left on this, in lane. this lane. Right, in this lane. That's right. Or maybe <laughs> it's a possibility. Right, maybe it means uh -huh. you can turn. It's a, it's a permission. If you want. It's a exactly, you can turn left if you want, right? I think I'll just go straight, <laughs> okay? So he doesn't really care. All right, perfect. Is there any other question? No questions. No questions? Was the conversation easy? Um, a bit. <laughs> a, bit. <laughs> a little bit, all right? Okay, good. All right, moving on, moving ahead. Aha, uh -huh. I brought this few signs. <laughs> Let's see how much we know about traffic signs. A lot of signs. 
<laughs> yeah, actually, these are international signs. Definitely, one, two, three. Those are the traffic lights, right? Yeah. And four. Signal, signal the traffic. Yeah, traffic yeah. signs. Traffic but sign. the first one, I don't recognize it. The second one, I do. The third one? No. Maybe we don't have no. these two types of... It's, it's some sign up for the school in the United States. Yeah, nice. So when they have these two red circle, it means? Is you, have to, you have to stop in front of the school. To the student can the street. And the other, and the ones in yellow? Uh, uh, you have to go with... Uh, Precaution, uh, you have precaution. to be careful with caution. Oh. All right. right. And the, obviously, the one that is very common for us is this one, right? Right. With the three colors. Okay. Red means stop. Yellow means careful. And the green one means go. Right. Then these triangles, do you recognize this one? Uh uh. No, anyone. Probably we're not familiar with them, right? Right. The next one? Um, maybe it's a, a, a wet street. <laughs> okay, to be careful, maybe it's not an easy road, right? Could be. Uh -huh. uh, how do you say? Uh, uh, how do you say? The rapar? A spilled. When there's oil, a spill on the road. No oil. Cuando la carretera está como lisa. Wet. Slippery. Wet. Algo así. Interesting. Okay. So it's a difficult. It's a difficult part of the road probably mm -hmm. right this one with a lot of colors well it has an extra color mm. uh it's a black, it's black. it looks black yeah. i don't know maybe uh, never seen I don't it know, I, I don't know fusion uh, it's I not can... working <laughs> <laughs> the traffic light it's not working it might mean that the traffic light is not working all right the next one um, you can walk you can walk you can walk you're allowed to walk there yes okay so it's a crossing area probably a crossing like the zebra where you can cross the street mm, no it's a no. You on the think, sidewalk yes i hmm. think so you are allowed to walk there okay i thought it was men working like the fovial <laughs> or men's at work <laughs> all right the next one mm -mm. no idea no idea yeah mm -hmm. no. the next one either mm -hmm. And the letter P? Parking. Parking is allowed, right? Mm -hmm. So you are allowed to park there. Wow. Yeah, actually this one, the previous one, I think is men's at work, like when they are constructing on the road. Because this one sounds more like you are allowed to walk or to cross the street, right? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And this one, I think is more for the school areas or this one for the school areas, right? right uh, that uh, exactly okay. that students are near or usually passing or crossing by okay this mm -hmm. one probably this oh point? where children might be playing so near the parks probably mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Probably. all right children playing in the park mm -hmm. all right this one the same, the presence of pedestrians, right? People walking near the area. This one, this one means? 
children playing. W, w, w Street. <laughs> <laughs> this no. one means that you can turn right, probably. <laughs> and okay. then okay. there's a next area or there's the next uh street right. where you right. can turn, where you right. can go right, right and left, mm -hmm. right? So this right. one would be yes, there's a next okay. entrance or there's a next uh right that you can make a right, that you can take a right. And the other one, of course, that you can take a left. Left. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And the stop. international signs for stop, right? But no, stop. in countries where the, I mean, they have to adapt the stop to the language, right? So they can be in English or in Spanish, but we have them in Spanish, right? <laughs> of course, mm -hmm. in Spanish, we have this, this sign in Spanish or we have Alto. a stop. Alto. Alto, Alto. it's true. I was like, thinking about the translation if it is stop it's alto right yeah we have them in spanish the next one both are the same i think taxi yes taxi you may take a taxi you are allowed to take a taxi in the area or cab or a cab right this one is also for for men working i guess men and men mm -hmm. at work yes also this one and this one right it's very similar. Usually, there is a there is a person trying to direct yeah. the traffic, it's trying stop, to protect. Stop the traffic. Exactly. They want yes when there are construction workers. And this one probably we're not very familiar because these are more for train, I think. Or we don't have gas. It, it looks gas. like a gas station. Gas station. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, we have when we are near a gas station, right? Okay, this one, if this one is for the zapitos, I guess, for the bumps. <laughs> okay, when there's an area where there's bumps. And this other, this triangle? Yeah. I one, don't know. No idea. And this one is double lane, right? Like mm -hmm. uh -huh. Double via. <laughs> exactly, double lane. So that means that you can go both ways, right? And the next ones are just about telephones, telephones, telephones. Mm -hmm. Maybe on the on the telephone when you make a phone call, right? Mm -hmm. So that means calling. Then you got a phone call. This one when you hang up. And we don't have pay phones anymore. Pay phones was the 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 phones that you use coins or cards and you make a phone call, right? Mm -hmm. That was long ago not anymore okay so these are some of the signs okay for you to be aware of okay in case that you go to another country there might be very similar very similar okay in some countries or some cities of course there are more signs and some others are fewer signs for instance here in san salvador there are many signs but probably outside of the city there are not many okay all right Aha, uh -huh. body language. To conclude this unit, we're going to have this article. We're going to talk about body language. How important body language is, okay? What does it say? For instance, without reading, I'm going to stop sharing the screen just by listening to body language. What comes to your mind? What is the idea that comes to your mind when you listen to this concept of body language. Any opinion? Uh, you are disagree. You disagree. Mm -hmm. Somebody else? For example, body language in general, what is it? Not in Spanish, but a concept or an idea in English. The way you move, now. <laughs> the way you walk. The way, the way you express something that you talk uh, about. Exactly, about something. the way you express without including verbal communication, right? 
For example, the if you exactly the gestures, gestures the expression, right? Yeah. For example, when you get to your mm -hmm. work and you're like, maybe you're not saying anything, but your expressions in your face shows a lot. And your partner go like, are you okay? Is there anything wrong? And they start asking you, right? right. Or, when you, or when you get to, to your house and you're like, mm. <laughs> and probably you don't say anything, but people can see, can perceive mm -hmm. from your expression, right? Or sometimes right. you just go like, <laughs> And you don't say anything, but people oh. interpret, right? Right. And it happens also when people have to be in front of other people. And they are probably very nervous or they are probably very, very impatient or they are probably not feeling confident. So people perceive what's happening with the person in front. It can happen in any, obviously it can happen in, in any environment, in any place, in any context, right? So not necessarily at work. I'm just mentioning at work because sometimes it's more obvious. All right. So I'm going to share the screen. You can read with your partner. You can stop. You can discuss. You can ask questions. And when you finish reading, we're going to ask some questions related to this article. Okay? Okay. okay. All right. Body language. What do you think is what do you think is happening in the picture? Um, I think uh first one uh, we need to read the text. Okay. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, let's read the text. Uh, I read, I read the first the first part. The first part. The second one. Okay. Second. More than half of what we communicate. Okay. Uh, who begins? I'm sorry. In one, I can start. Or Elizabeth. And I begin. Okay. Um, more than, um, I can. Yes. Okay. Uh, more than half of what we communicate is communicating not through words but through body body language. This includes our posture, uh, facial expression, and gestures, uh, because body language is so important. You want to know what you is saying and who they interpret other people's too. Other people's too. Here are some examples of body language and its meaning. Um, no, this meaning are of North America interpretation may differ a bit in other cultures. Okay. Uh, okay, um, Gracine? Gracine? You listen? Uh, me? Yes. Okay. 
Uh, okay. Your posture is slow. This could mean that your confidence is your posture is straight but relaxed. You are expressing confidence and friendly friendliness. Okay. Mm. Okay. The next. Okay. Uh, a smile is a sign of friendliness and interested in the conversation, but repeating mm, women like taking a uh, penalty or happening in the picture. More than half of what we communicate is communicate not true words but strong body language. This includes our posture, facial expression and gesture because body language is so important. You will want to know what you is saying and how interpret other people too. Here are some examples of body language and it is meaning not. These meanings are for North America. Interpret, interpretation may differ a bit in other cultures. If your posture is slumped, slumped and your head is down, this could mean that you are sad or lack confidence. If your posture is strained but relaxed, you are expressing confidence and friendly. Friendliness. A smile is a thing of a friendliness and interest. But people sometimes smile just to be polite, to get another. Or tapping foot often mean the person is either impatient or nervous. Stay away from someone who points at you while talking you, with you. That person might be angry at you or feel superior to you. That's it. It's your turn, Leonard. Excuse me? It's your turn. My turn. Okay. Yeah. Body language. What does it say? What do you think is happening in the in the picture? More than half of what we communicate is communicated not through words, but through body language. This includes our posture, facial expression, and gesture, because body language is so important. You want to know what you're, you're saying and how to interpret, interpret other people's too. Here are some examples of body language and its meaning. Not this meaning are for North America. Interpret, interpretation may differ, differ a bit in other cultures. If your posture is slumped and your head is down, this could mean that that you are sad or lack confidence. If your posture is strange but relaxed, you are expressing confidence and friendliness. And a smile is a sign or fr friend lines are interesting, but people something smile just just to be polite. To get another another cloak from people's face. Notice this age. Frying lines are inter interested are expressing when a person ages with your special is yours, especially when I, your head is down. This call me that you are sad, sad 
or lack confidence. Is your posture is a strain, but relax. You are expressions, confidence, and friendliness. And a smile is a sign of friendliness, 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 and interest. But people sometimes smile just to be poly, to get another clown from people's face. Notice their eyes, friendliness, and interest are expressed when a person eyes matures. Especially in what you're the ones who's talking. And they look away and meet you again. A person who doesn't doesn't look away, his expressions are changed. A person who doesn't look at your expressing let Correcto. Pero el slump, no sé qué es. Slump. Right now. I, slump. I, I will find in the dictionary. Slump. Uh, 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 slump. Slump. I know this is uh, good. Ah. Desplomada. Mm -hmm. Okay. Slump. Slump. Desplomada. Okay. You you, you. 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 If you poster is slump. O sea, está su postura está desplomada. Mm -hmm. And you, your head And is your down. Head is down. Sí, mm -hmm. con la cabeza abajo. Sí, significa que estás triste. Yeah. That is uh, Kate. Finish. Yes, yes, great. Awesome. All right. How was the reading? The reading have a uh, a lot of new words for me. Right. <laughs> yes, it's a way of learning vocabulary too. <laughs> yes. Okay, great. Hello. Talking about the posture of our expression mm -hmm. when we don't say nothing but our posture, posture express everything. Exactly. Yeah, it's a really interesting reading, right? Right. Okay, so it's body language, what does it say? <laughs> okay, so you see this group of people, right? Okay, what do you think is happening in the picture? Uh-huh, what's going there on? Is a, the there is a meeting. There is a meeting, there are many people, uh, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Angry it's cause. A <laughs> it seems uh, to be a party, uh-huh. The focus of the meeting the focus of the meeting okay some people look very confident very calm very relaxed their posture is elegant and mm -hmm. transmits confidence and so on and they look sociable and interacting with others but what happened to poor kate she looks very shy. Looks <laughs> uh, uncomfortable. Shy. Uncomfortable, shy. So that's what she projects, right? Maybe yeah. that's why people don't approach, don't get close to her. 
because she doesn't look confident, right? Okay, more than uh, half of what we could, yes? And uh, to, uh, 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 I read that there are people that feels uh, very, very superior to us. That also happens. That also happens. Yes. You know, like people that have super high self-esteem and feel superior. Yeah, that also happens. Okay. All right. More than more than half of what more we communicate what is communicated communicate not through words, but through, through words, but body language, through right? Body language. This includes our posture, this facial expressions, posture, and gestures. Yes, because yes. body language because is body language so is important, important, right? You want to know what the yours is saying, is how to interpret other people's too. Are you always aware? Like, are you always conscious of your posture and your body language? Si se percatan ustedes de su postura, de su lenguaje corporal? Yeah. Or you never think yeah. about that? <laughs> I, I always have, think I about have, it. Yeah, I have this difficulty. I, I always forget. Or yeah. happiness. Um, Any other feeling, right? But I always forget. Mm -hmm. I always forget until probably I just quickly think and I say, oh my God, what am I projecting? What is my facial expression now? Because some people, you know, they are always paying attention to what you look like, to what you seem like, right? So mm -hmm. here are some examples. When you say incomodo. Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Yes. Okay. Thanks. Here are some examples of body language and its meaning. No, these meanings are for no, North American. So this is like the common interpretation a North American will have, right? So interpretation mm -hmm. may differ a bit in other cultures. So they might have a little difference, right? If your posture is slumped your is and your head is down, this could mean that you're sad or lack of confidence. So when people are like this, right? That they barely see other people's eyes. So they don't keep eye contact, right? So that is lack of confidence. If your posture is straight but relaxed, you are expressing confidence and friendliness. So that means that you are fine, that you're okay, that you're comfortable, that you are confident, that you are friendly. A smile is a sign of friendliness and interest, but people sometimes smile just to be polite. Right, when the smile is not really natural, <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, to get another clue from people's face, notice their eyes, friendliness and interest are expressed when a person's eyes meet your eyes, okay, when you see, mm -hmm. like you have eye contact with the other person. Especially when you are the one who's talking. One second, I need to move this. Okay, and then look away and meet yours again. A person who doesn't look always is expressing a challenge. A person who doesn't look at you is expressing lack of interest and in, or is shy. Like somebody is talking and, and, and you don't look at that person, probably you're not interested in what the person is saying or probably you're shy, so you cannot have the eye contact, right? Okay, hand gestures. Hand gestures, or see you know. the cell phone. Uh, exactly, on the cell phone, it's scrolling on the cell phone. That's another one now, right? That happens. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of rude <laughs> and impolite, especially if the person that is talking to you it, I mean, needs, deserves your attention. Hands gestures, how you move your hands, okay? Hands gestures can mean a person is interested in the conversation, but repeatedly movements like tapping a pencil or tapping a foot often mean the person is either impatient or nervous. Stay away from someone who points at you while talking to you. So when you go like, I think it's this is similar to Sam, like, we want you, right? So it's like, hmm. 
So stay away from that person. That person might be angry or feel superior to you. So if mm -hmm. so, okay, that's why your mom says, de señalar niño. So it's not correct to point to people, right? I'm doing it because of the camera, but just to have the idea what is pointing to people, okay? So this is an interpretation of body language and how important it is. And for us to have conscious, to have awareness of that, right? Because sometimes maybe we don't say anything, but our body reflects a lot of things, right? And of course we have some questions, <laughs> okay? Look at the picture. You already saw the picture. The poor Kate, okay? Who appears to be confident? Kate, Lisa, or both Kate and Lisa? Do you remember? Lisa. Lisa is confident? Yes. Kate. Ah, no, Kate, Kate. Kate. Confident. Kate. Kate. Kate lacks of confidence. Lisa is confident. She's like a strain. Yeah, and Kate is shy. Sad. Sad. Uh -huh. Who appears to be mm -hmm. confident? That's Lisa, right? Right. While while you're talking yes. to your boss. Talking to your boss. Imagine talking to your boss. <laughs> he or she is tapping a foot. This might be a sign that your boss is impatient with what you're saying, is interested what what you're saying, or feels that he or she is superior to. Uh, is impatient, impatient with, with what you are saying. Yeah, probably is impatient with what you're saying. Actually, I don't know if you have noticed that, but I have noticed that they are not very patient, right? Sometimes they interrupt, <laughs> even interrupt with what you're saying. Okay, if you want to show someone that you're interested, you should continue to look at the person without stopping or look away from the person or look at the person, but not for too long. Look at the person, but not for too long. Exactly, you look at the person, but don't stare at the person like the whole, <laughs> all the whole time right <laughs> okay yeah. all right try to be a polite <laughs> try to be polite try to be kind okay so do you do you agree with all the interpretation given in the article if no why not this is something that we probably will discuss tomorrow so be aware how aware how conscious we are on people language right some people are very I don't know how to call that, but they observe you all the time, how you look. If you look sad, if you look angry, if you look exhausted, if you look stressed, they always say, you okay? You need something? Uh, yeah, they are a psychologist. <laughs> exactly. They are always observing what your expressions are. I have this kind of partners, believe me. And sometimes they even send me a message. They say, are you angry with me? And I'm like, I just feel tired, <laughs> okay? What do you notice most? People's postures, facial expressions, or gestures? Probably facial expressions. For some people are very, very observative on that. And why do people sometimes express more through body language than through words? More than words? Yeah, probably, <laughs> okay? So this is something we will discuss tomorrow, okay? If you want to continue investigating, reading about body language, you just go ahead on any website, you know, just to have more ideas, but try to do reading in English. That will benefit, that will help you increase and improve your vocabulary, okay? Okay. 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 Perfect. Thank we have you. classes it's tomorrow. Good, good news. <laughs> <laughs> good news. Yeah. We have classes on good Friday. News. Only for this week. I promise. Next week you won't have classes on Friday. You will relax. Okay. <laughs> because it's finished the course. Aha. Okay. Uh -huh. We ah. finished the course next Wednesday. That's why. Yeah. 
So tomorrow we start the last unit yeah. because we have only four classes for the last unit. Okay. 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 Bye. So long. Bye. Bye. Have a good Bye. night. God bless you. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Have a good night.